the concept is like really a bizarre concept to even entertain because we didn't bring ourselves here mm -hmm. and we have responsibilities while we're here. So th this, this concept of individualism or the individual is, uh, I would say, certainly a more modern way to, for people to express themselves. As a modern construction, I see it really in connection with the creation of the nation state and white supremacy being built into the nation state and the myth of bootstrapping. I came here my, with nothing and I made it on my own. And there we see this myth of being out of history, out of time, out of context, in a vacuum. You can do it on your own. Don't, it's, it's weak if you ask for help. Individualism perpetuates racism in that it takes away the responsibility of being connected or being responsible to someone else. This idea that I can um, do or be anything that I want to without any regard to the rest of the human family is problematic. <laughs> and, and it actually helps people to, again, turn themselves from their humanity into being this thing. I am my job, I am what I make, I am where I live, as opposed to just being a human being. Mm -hmm. And understanding that being a human being is enough. So what I think is when I am able to either see others as less than being human, or I, am, or I see myself as being less than human, that is the perpetuation in and of itself. I see that individualism perpetuating racism in two different ways. Uh, I think it robs white people or people of European heritage this wonderful opportunity to see that they're part of something, mm -hmm. that they're part of thousands of years of loving and crying and art and music and all the good stuff of um, community. And uh, if you see yourself as an individual, what happens to those thousands of years in the making? It just, poof, it goes away. And I think it undermines, for communities of color and indigenous communities, I think it undermines our uh, innate knowings. Some, well, how do you know that? I mean, one of the things we've been joking around about today is, oh, well, did a study prove that? So now we have epigenetics where you know my grandmother and my great-grandmother my great-great-grandmother they knew stuff and they said well because my ancestors knew this stuff but now we have science that proves that we have cellular memory so when we have this individualism we lose magic we lose history we lose our connection and if we're really going to tackle the disparities that are created because of white supremacy and racism we have to come together. So I think there's a big danger in saying, well, obviously we haven't made the changes that we need because we don't have a hero. You know, we need this one person, the individual. And that's not how big changes get made, right? It's all these, te the teeny people, me and you coming together with dreams and goals and visions and so much love that makes the, ch that's how we build movements of change. Yeah. Part of our greatest successes as human beings has been to create that, that the, you know, the tribe, the unit, the family, the, the community, the village, the city, and all of those things being in relationship with one another. Everything that is a part of our human existence is contained in this small sphere, and we have to figure out how to, um, work with each other. Well, I think there becomes a continuation of myth-making to try to make sense of it. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the ways I see it coming up is in public health messages, individualism coming up in public health messages. Well, if you just ate the right foods and exercised, you wouldn't have diabetes, heart disease. And we can see in the early 1900s when white insurance companies were saying, well, we don't need to give insurance to new immigrants or black people because they're weaker and they're just gonna die off. So we create these stories instead of looking at 
systemic problems. And I think individualism really gets in the way of thinking uh, c that connected, seeing a constellation. So we're too busy looking at this one star. If we're really going to regain our humanity, we really get to see the whole Milky Way. I think it's the most effective way to take things on. Otherwise, we just say, well, so sorry that happened to you. Yeah. You know, it kind of invisibilizes microaggressions, which are not micro at all, at all. And we don't see, wow, oppression is systemic. And it's hundreds of years in the making.